One other way that we can bring models into or bring work into 3D Studio Max is by doing a straight import. And what you will find is that there are other programs within the Autodesk uh, range of products, such as uh, Autodesk Revit or Architectural Desktop, that will actually produce complete 3D models. So that's what we're going to be looking at at the moment, and we're going to be looking at how we bring those in. Now, a DWG file or a DXF file is quite limited in what it can actually bring in. It tends to only be able to bring in geometry. So what we're going to be looking at now is a file format called FBX. So I'll come to my start button here and I'll go to import and straight away my import folder comes up and you can see that I've got a file here that I'm going to be bringing in and I'll just click open. Now this is my imports folder. Uh, and it's already noticed the fact that I've brought in an FBX file as opposed to a DXF or a DWG. Now the reason why we use these files is they don't just bring in geometry, they also bring in materials and lighting and little bits of animation if we need them to be. So I'll go to my presets and from here you'll notice that we've got an Autodesk Media and Entertainment preset. That's because the FBX file format originated within the media and entertainment sector and is now being used by architectural practices to help pass over work from the, the architects and the designers to the visualizers. So from that, from my drop down, you see I've got Autodesk Architectural Revit. So I'll click on that and you can see now there's a whole lot of presets. All my options disappeared from down here and in actual fact, I have all my presets available to me. If I want to, I can edit these. So I'll press edit and I'll say edit preset. And you notice here it comes up, it says preset mode, right click on a tree view to edit the property parameter. So I can open up these and then I can right click on it. And you see, I've got, I can right click here, I can edit the label or I can change anything else that I want in here. So I don't, I don't really actually want to do that because to be honest with you, the preset here is really very good. So I'll just click OK on that and immediately the file will start to be imported. You can see down here in the bottom left hand corner, we've got reading FBX file and that'll come in in just a few moments time. Oh, and we can see there that it has done. I'll just pause it for a moment while it, uh, while it imports. Okay, so when the file has fully loaded, you may find that you've got a couple of warnings come up. This is because um, Mental Ray isn't my current renderer. I've still got myself set to Scanline Renderer, so that's okay. And we're saying that the camera offset isn't in, isn't supported. So, well, that's okay, that's fine. Uh, you'll probably find that in, in Revit, a default camera was created, and 3D Studio Max doesn't really like it very much, which is fine because we are doing a visualization. We're probably going to be using a different camera anyway. So I'll click OK on that, and so I'll dismiss those errors. And as soon as that's disappeared, you can see that we've got our model here. And it's probably quite a big model. As you can see, yeah, it's taking a little bit of time to sort of move around the model. If I zoom in a little way to my model, but it does give you an idea of how easy it is to get a model with a daylight system. We've got some lights showing here. We've got the shadows in between them and how easy it is to get that data into 3D Studio Max and out of Revit.